Hi everybody, it's Lisa with Dodd Gifts and I was just sewing a few things today. This is a tag that I will put some further embellishments on. It's just a few primary school book pages from probably the 60s. Just sewed around it. Like I said, I'll paste some things on here so this is not the finished look. another primary book. This will just be a pocket. Did a little zigzag here and we'll cover it up with some stuff. Here's a little envelope that I made. Two layers of ribbon right here. This strip of fabric came from a, a shop in my town that sells material for upholstery shops and people that want to do upholstery. And this was one of their sample books that they had for sale, a discontinued one. And I have several great pieces. If you ever find one of those books, they're very economical for what you can do with them. And okay. Just cut that strip off, made a little pocket. This is another pocket, another envelope. Another one out of a, just a dictionary page. I folded that over for a little extra strength. If you wanted to, you could sew across here before you fold it up and then go around, make it more sturdier. Another tag. Another tag, that's great for Veterans Day. And I just made this one. I will do one just like it here in a minute. I sewed this while it was open and then closed it and sewed down so that it appears as if it had been sewn all the way around. So this will be glued to a page and make a nice pocket. Here's another one. Let's see what we have ready to sew. It's a beautiful fall day today. Okay, let's make this one just like this one. So I'm gonna open it and just sew down. And of course, it's just a page that has been turned inward and then it will go on a pocket or as a pocket in a book. So I'm gonna sew straight down. And this sewing machine, it's the only one that I have. And it, uh, my mother used it in the 70s to make our clothes. <laughs> it does very well on paper. But my sewing skills are uh, just on paper only. So let's see if I can get it going. It likes to take off and run on its own. I don't know if they sell a sewing machine that you can set to no matter how high or how hard you push the pedal that it will only go so fast. Uh, is that a feature of the newer sewing machines? Like I said, this one's from the 70s, so anything would be newer. And I'm just gonna take some binding bias tape that I got at a um, antique shop. It's lavender. I'm going to just make it across the bottom, cutting it a little bigger. I'm gonna fit the bottom of the pocket inside this little pocket here. And just like this. Just like that. <laughs> it's a little what we call contrary, meaning it won't work. Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna fold this under. How's that? That looks pretty good. So here we go, find my pedal. Don't crank 
gold. Like I said. And I'm out of thread. How about that? I'm just about out of thread. Oh, let's see if we can make this work. Or I have to change my thread. Okay. My pedal likes to move. Okay, please go. So many people are doing such really cool things. Sewing their pockets and their envelopes. I get so much inspiration from Pinterest and YouTube. So that looks like it has been sewn all the way around, which it hasn't. And that will be another little place for some little tags or something. I just love it. Okay, I'm going to switch thread and come back and do some more. Okay, I have another piece of the book and I'm going to make an envelope out of it. But first I want to sew this cut out from the book onto the envelope and then when we have it sewn up I have the stitching around and I have loaded some green thread so bear with me, this is going to be very, very loud and difficult because my machine likes to take off and run. It doesn't have a nice, slow speed. Okay, here we go. All is forgiven in junk journaling, <laughs> so that's good. Oh, my machine is behaving. Almost around. Ugh. A little back. Okay, yes, I hope all is forgiven in junk journaling. Because that looks pretty rough. So, I like to start in this bottom corner when I do my envelopes. Start and end there. Here we go. needles up or down when I move. Alright. Let's see. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to continue to sew around and when we get to the embellishing part, I will come back. <laughs> 